In this video, I'm going to show you how we can test the normality assumption for ANOVA. We know that in order to do the ANOVA test, we need to test the normality. So we're going to first to generate the data set. This document was written using the ARC markdown. So now let me go back to the R Studio to show you. So, so this is exactly the same code I just showed you earlier. So we set the C and then we're going to have like three labels. So X1, X2, and X3. And each label has 30 numbers. And so, and that means for five, 20, and 30 for each label. So let's run this part. So run it, that's the head data. So this is the data set we generate. Um, as you can see, the H1 has like, I mean, 30, 30 numbers. And S2 also has 30 numbers. X3 also has 30 numbers. And the mean for the X1 is five. X2 is 20. X3 is 30. So we generate a data set. So basically we're doing a general data set for one way ANOVA. And the next step, we're going to see that how it looks like. So we can basically copy paste uh, this two line code. So we're going to copy this. Well, well, let me run it to see how it looks like for you. Okay. And then. So we can plot this data. So remember that the. Remember that we can see that. Um, there's a measure. Yes, measure is the. The variable, the the numerical variable, and this is just the label. I mean, different labels within the different labels, and so we can kind of plot a histogram. So histogram plot, and then we can plot the line. So okay, as you can see, that this looks probably not normal because that's actually there are three means one means five one means 20 one means 30 so it's kind of a combination of several normal distribution together the data set and so since that even though it looks not normal we can even further test that whether it's normal or not so let me we can so we can use the Shirley pro test to test whether it's normal or not So we can test that the normality. As you can see that it's not normal. So it means that, I mean, so this, I mean, this chart is basically not normal, but we use the test to see, okay, the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05. It means, it means that it's not normal. Okay. So sometimes you will see some people like, I do a mistake, like just test like the overall dependent variable, the y, to test the normality for ANOVA, that's not the right way to do that. And how we can do that to test normality? We can do, the way we can do is that we need to understand the basic idea of what exactly we're going to test. So basically we're going to test the, the residual, mainly, namely the x, all the variables, each x is a uh, number to minus the mean of the each level. So remember that we have three different levels. So basically each number to minus the mean of the mean of the each level. So mean, this mean is the calculated the, the sample mean rather than the, the mean from the uh, the population. So this each number minus the sample mean for the each level. So we have three different I mean sample mean for I mean with for the each levels. I mean, we have three different sample means and each level has one of them. So as you can see that, so this is the, you say that this X dash is the overall mean, then this XI dash is the mean for the each condition. And so all the X minus the mean for the each level. And then, so this is the residual. So we're going to test the normality of this residual. That's what we are going to test. And so we can copy this data set. Um, and the problem is that how 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 we're going to test the how we're going to calculate the 
I mean this this part. How we're going to calculate this part? The way we can do that is that we're going to use the AOL function, and this is dependent variable. This is the independent variable. This is different levels. Yes, and we say as a model, and then this model has a has a part called residue. So we're going to use uh, the AOL function to get the residue that we want. So we can basically run it, run it, run it. So we can see that this the shell pro test since the p value is greater than 0 0.05, that means that basically the residue is kind of normal. And we can even plot the this residue to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna I'm not going to back back and forth. So basically, uh, we can plot that. We can copy this line of code and go back to the R Studio to test that. So basically, this is the residue. Yes, we can run it. As you can see, that I mean, this is not perfectly normal, but pretty. Uh, it's basically it's a normal distribution. So that's consistent with this uh, this test. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.